and we're live. Hello, Jackie. How are you? Hi, Mel. I'm really excited. <laughs> so we are live on Facebook and this will be going onto YouTube as well. So um, those of you on my channel, you should know me and you may recognise Jackie as well. I actually had Jackie on um, Big Vision TV last year. Um, we did an inter interview and I think I remember it was just before the lockdown kicked off completely and and I remember we actually filmed it on my birthday so my birthday is 18th of March um and I think it might have gone out a day or two later so it was literally I think the world went to lockdown I think it was the 23rd of March so there's a know, lot of but... yeah there's a lot of stuff happening in the world there still is a lot of stuff happening well there'll always be lots of stuff happening in the world and just a bit more background that um so Jackie is an EFT founding master. Um, Jackie, tell us what that means for a moment. It means one of I'm one of a very select group um, that were trained by Gary Craig that were validated by him, given that EFT founding master status uh, years ago, 2007 or something. I think there's 29 of us in the world. Um, mm. So it's it's been great because it's given me opportunities to do things and meet people that I you know that I wouldn't have had otherwise. Mm. Um, so yeah, really been been incredibly valuable, and it's meant that I I get to meet people like the people we're working with. Yeah, absolutely. So Jackie and I were actually were actually introduced by another tapper, Brad Yates, who you may have heard of. And um, Brad did a workshop in the UK, I think it was September 2019. Um, we were both at the event to, you know, support our friend Brad. And um, Brad took us out for dinner afterwards. And that's kind of how we got to know each other. And, um, and it's obviously really great to connect with a fellow um, UK tapper as well. And Jackie and I then continued to tap with one another pretty much um you know with some gaps in between but on an ongoing basis pretty consistently since then um and i know as a coach as a practitioner as a healer that i need coaching i need healing and i need to continue my professional development with others um wouldn't you say it's Jessica, so much e it's so much easier when you're doing it with somebody else mm. because you know we, we do stuff and sometimes we we don't know what we're going to work on, but we start talking and something comes up and then you get to clear it. Sometimes there'll be something that you know you want to work on. And it's just great to have somebody that's skilled to work with because I don't know about you, but I might have something I need to work on. and I'll do a little bit here and a little bit there, but I won't do a dedicated mm. sit down and doing it with somebody else gives me that impetus. It always gives me that permission. Yeah. This is my time because I'm going to be doing it with Mel. So. And also when you're working with somebody else, you know, it's great to have a different perspective, different eyeball, different eyeballs on stuff yeah. because you can get a bit stuck on your own thinking, can't you? Well, your reality is your reality. What you need is somebody who runs a different reality to be able to show you what it is that you're running. Because mm -hmm. for us, our reality is just how it is. Mm. And somebody who's got a completely different reality will go, have you realised that that's what you're thinking or that's what you're seeing the world as? And and so it's it's really good to get that that observer's perspective on what you do. Yeah, Because, yeah, we're always doing the best we can and we're doing what we've been taught and how we've been taught. Um, so you just need somebody with a different background to mm. to show you what you're up to. And here's the thing with, I think, tapping and EFT, that there are so many, um, you know, there's a phrase in the word of tapping, try it on anything. You can tap on yeah. anything. And and I think that that is what we do with our clients. But we also have areas of specialism as well. Like I would say if somebody wants to stop smoking, you know, I'm probably not your person. Yes, I can work on it. But there are practitioners out there who specialize in addictions and um, and because we do use that phrase tap on anything, um, there are so many wonderful practitioners around who who do specialise in different areas. So so tell us about your area of specialism, Jackie. 
well, I could help people stop smoking in a two hour session. I'm quite good at it. However, that's not what lights my fire. What lights my fire is working with the ancestral and family stuff. Mm -hmm. So the traumas that get passed down through the genes, the the belief systems, the worldviews that come down through the family that may have been created in the 1600s. And they just get passed from family to family to family, generation to generation. And nobody in the family questions it because it's the reality. Mm. Um, and you know, we pick that up in the first couple of years of life so that we have no idea that it's something that we could challenge or look at in a different way. Mm. But what my, you know, my experience with using EFT in the way that I have is that when you can clear out the stuff that's not yours, so that's the family stuff, the ancestral stuff. And you know, for me, I also work with past lives. So clearing out the stuff that's yours from a different time, mm. then working out and clearing what's going on with you right now is so much easier. Yeah. It's like a dandelion. You know, if you've got a dandelion sitting there and you chop the top of it, two days later, you've got the dandelions back again. If you actually dig out the roots of it, it might look like a dandelion on the surface, but it's just going to give up and die mm. because there's nothing supporting it. So, you know, for me, the joy is seeing people when they hit that aha moment and they go, oh, my God, that's not mine. I don't have to do that anymore. Mm. And suddenly the whole world expands. People see things differently. They see themselves differently, which is the important thing. And I don't know why that's done that, because I've just, sorry, <laughs> I quit Outlook and it's still pinging at me. <laughs> don't worry. I can so see. apologize. No, everything's all perfect this end. So, no, see, we can see yes. and hear everything Bing! fine. <laughs> um Yes, yeah, yeah. so that's my specialism, clearing this stuff that's not yours so you can clear the stuff that is yours so much more easily. Exactly. So a couple of months ago, I think, yeah, earlier this year, Jackie and I were on our weekly tapping session and um, and I kind of suddenly had this idea that, you know, and I kind of, I guess I was just articulating this thing, just kind of, thinking, oh, what do you think about this, Jackie? Wouldn't it be great to have um, a day-long tapping event where we could invite fellow tappers and um, take people on this journey through clearing the past so that we can tap into this vision for the future, which is my speciality. I help people to tap into their big vision. I'm all about big thinking and manifestation and you know, the bigger, the better, as far as I'm concerned. And, um, and because we do have wonderful friends in the tapping world, we thought, wouldn't it be great to have a day long tapping event? Because I think most people when they tap, and I know certainly when I was came across tapping, you know, more than a decade ago, um, I would just tap along, you know, to a, a video, um, I did Gary Craig's videos, but it wasn't kind of, um, a whole day of it and the only time that I've really tapped for a whole day is when I've been on tapping workshops you know I've been to Brad's last I think three workshops that he's come to the UK um obviously when I've you know furthered my own um professional development when I've been on training workshops and there are so many more shifts that take place when we do tap for a whole day that um we thought it was time really to I thought it'd be a good idea to bring this tapping event into the world. Um, what are your thoughts on tapping for a whole day, Jackie? Oh, it just makes such a difference. You get to a completely different level because you know, when you're just doing a little bit here and a little bit there, you're taking the top off something mm. and then you take a bit more of the top off something. But by the time you get back to the top again, more things have piled up. So you never really get to the deep stuff. You never mm. get down to the roots of things. And a whole day, it feels like such a such a luxury to have a day mm. where you're focusing on you and your stuff. And, and you can really get so many aha moments because because mm. often, you know, just actually recognizing where something comes from and why you're doing it, why that's how it is, that transforms it anyway mm. without all the other stuff that we do. Um, and it's just so much fun to spend time with people who do the same sort of mad things that we do. <laughs> and of course, the people that we've chosen to work with on this day, 
um, all have their specialities. Yeah. It's it's worked really well, hasn't it? Because we mm. worked it out. So it would be a day starting with me clearing the stuff that's not yours mm. and then you know building through with people each of them using their speciality but to lead us towards at the end of the day feeling clear having a clear vision for us and being connected to the universal abundance to bring in whatever it is that we're wanting to bring in yeah yeah because our, our vision for everybody was that they would feel really different at the end of the day Absolutely, it's a transformational journey. Um, and yeah. I, I, I love tapping with you, Jackie, and um, I've introduced you to my members community. You did a wonderful ancestral healing masterclass. And in fact, even when new members join now, I'll say that's probably one of the first places you want to, um, you know, one of the first things you want to look at when you join the community. Go and check out the masterclass with Jackie so you can just do some real way back when clearing first. Um so you can start to recognise some of the old patterns and beliefs you've been holding on to. Um, so, yes, after Jackie, we've got our friend Steve Wells in Australia, who is going to help us um, clear the stuff from the belief systems that we've picked up in this lifetime. <laughs> and these are things we've picked up from childhood, adolescence, from society, whatever. Um, so I'm really looking, I'm looking forward to all of it as a mm. speaker and as a participant. Um, the next part of the journey is me. Um, well, once we've done that clearing, I'll be helping you to expand that vision. To that big vision. <laughs> yeah. Opening the vision to what's possible. And who's after me? Um, uh, it's Tamara. Tamara. Helping yeah. people to, to ground that big vision. So mm -hmm. you get that real energetic sense of it being part of you and you being part of it. Yeah. And Tamara Don, she was actually my EFT trainer. So she is an EFT master trainer. She trains practitioners. So she has a pretty good idea of what, what, what she's doing. Her and her husband, Peter, yeah, they train me. Um, then after Tamara, we have um, Andy Bryce, who's another EFT founding master, isn't he? He is, yes. Yeah. From Canada originally in the UK now. Mm hmm and his um, session is going to be on the art of receiving. So that's the thing I find with manifesting. Um, we're asking the universe for all this wonderful stuff, but then we block ourselves. We don't allow ourselves to receive it. So receiving is an art form, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Mm. It's so easy to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all that. Yeah. And then there's a part of you going, but I can't have, mm. but I'm not allowed. Yeah. Um, and so, and so we create our blocks, and Andy, I think Andy's session will be about clearing that anything that stops us receiving the abundance of the universe. Mm. And we end the event with our friend Brad, Brad Yates, and um, Brad is going to be um, unlocking yeah the universal abundance that's going to because here's the thing, and this is you know one of the things that I love to talk about as well is when we create the vision board, when we have the big vision, you know when we have the dream house, the car, all these things in our vision board, we need money to kind of to crystallize it. Not always, we don't always need money to bring it in, but um, the the abundance. Um, allows things to happen you know and, and and a lot of us have blocks when it comes to allowing that abundance to come in so um, I'm really delighted actually to be handing over to Brad for this session to um he's really good at doing abundant stuff isn't he and, yeah he's great and yeah mm. and abundance is yes it is money but it's so much more than that yeah and and often what we're doing is blocking ourselves from the abundance, it's like that abundant universal energy mm. that allows us to expand into who we are. Yeah. Mm. You know, and, and when you're not accepting abundance, and sometimes we'll say, your yeah, abundance equals money, I'm not allowed money, so I'm not allowed abundance. Mm. And, and then we close that sense of abundance in every area of our life. Mm. And this is about allowing us to be abundant human beings, because yeah. we are naturally, yeah. aren't we? Absolutely. You know, naturally we're connected to the abundance of the universe. The only thing that stops us being in that space is us. So mm -hmm. looking forward to clearing that with Brad and allowing the money in, allowing, you know, if you're a business person, allowing the clients in, the mm -hmm. customers in, allowing mm -hmm. the joy in, 
because abundance of joy sometimes will allow so much, but no more than that. <laughs> yeah. And we don't want to limit any of the abundance in all its forms um, to appear in, you know, anybody's life. So, yeah, so you know, this is our invitation for you to come and, you know, check out the event, what's on offer. Um, you can find the description, sorry, the link in the description of this video, wherever you're coming across this video. And um, I think Jackie and I, we'd, we'd like to just kind of end with a round of tapping. You know, we couldn't get together and not do a round of tapping, could we? Of course not. We're tappers. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> so those of you who are watching either live or on the replay, um, we invite you just to connect with your heart, connect with the universe, connect with the earth, and just to give yourself just a few minutes now to allow whatever to comes in from this round of tapping jackie and i we haven't scripted this um we're just going to we never do <laughs> we never do yeah we're going to just um allow what comes through us to come through us i have something to start with yeah jackie you start <laughs> even though <laughs> even though i'm really good at limiting myself i'm really good at limiting myself I've done it my entire life. I've done it my entire life. My family did. My family did. Way back through the family line. Way back through the family line. Circumstances meant they could only have so much. Circumstances meant they could only have so much. And they decided that meant. And they decided that meant. That's all they were allowed. That's all they were allowed. And everybody passed that down to the next generation. And everybody pass that down to the next generation. And I'm the next generation. And I'm the next generation. And I believed them. And I believed them. I may even have taught my kids. I may even have taught my kids. And I'm letting all parts of me know. I'm letting all parts of me know. Releasing this now for me. Releasing this now for me. Sends the healing back through the family line. Sends healing back through the family line. And down through the family line. And down through the family line. So I'm doing this on behalf of me and anyone I've ever connected with. So I'm doing this on behalf of me and anyone I've connected with. I'm letting all parts of me know. I'm letting all parts of me know. That any limits that I have set. That any limits I may have set. Are artificial. Are artificial. They've been created on limited information they've been created on limited information and misunderstandings and misunderstandings and i can release them now back to the universe and i can release them now back to the universe for recycling with my thanks for recycling with my thanks and it's not disloyal to do that and it's not disloyal to do that I really appreciate the people in my family that were part of this. I really appreciate the people in my family who are a part of this. And I'm releasing it on their behalf too. And I'm releasing it on their behalf too. Over to you. And I choose to know. And I choose to know. That it's safe for me to have more. That it's safe for me to have more. It's safe for me to desire more. It's safe for me to desire more. It's safe for me to have a bigger vision. It's safe for me to have a bigger vision. Because I was born for this. I was born for this. And it's my time. It's my time. To be more. To be more. To have more. To have more. To do more. To do more. Without limits. Without limits. And it's absolutely safe for me to do this. It's absolutely safe for me to do this. Maybe there are desires deep in my heart. Maybe there are desires deep in my heart. That have been locked away for some time now. That have been locked away for some time now. I'm allowing myself to unlock these desires. Am I allowing myself to unlock these desires? I'm allowing the music to come out. I'm allowing the music to come out. 
I'm allowing the creativity to be unleashed. I'm allowing the creativity creativity to be unleashed. <laughs> I'm allowing that thing that wants to be birthed. I'm allowing that thing that wants to be birthed. To come into the world. To come into the world. It's been bubbling for some time now. Been bubbling for some time now. And maybe I've had little nudges here and there. Maybe I've had little nudges here and there. Maybe there have been some signs. Maybe there have been some signs. Maybe it's time to take some action. Maybe it's time to take some action. Because it's my time. Because it's my time. And I'm ready. I'm ready. And whilst I may be nervous. And while I may be nervous. And there are parts of me screaming. And there are parts of me screaming. Ah! No, it's that no, it's not your time. You're not ready. It's not your time. You're not ready. You'll never be ready. <laughs> if not now, then when? If not now, then when? If not you, then who? <laughs> if not you, then who? It is my time. It's my time. To tap into a bigger vision. To tap into a bigger vision. And I'm ready. And I'm ready. And I'm inviting all parts of me to have a word with my higher self. Mm -hmm. Have a word with my higher self. Who has the bigger vision. Who has the bigger vision. So all parts can be updated. So all parts can be updated. With the current information. With the current information. So they're all working on the same page. So they're all working on the same page. So much easier for them. So much easier for them. And for me. And for me. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Those of you who tapped along with us, I'd love to know how that's felt. For me, it feels like possibility, the energy of possibility and curiosity and hmm, I wonder, wonder is a, not how. That, that's the important thing, isn't it? To recognise you don't need to know what, you don't need to know how, you just have to have the curiosity mm. and that sense of wonderment mm. because then the universe can move things around for you. Yeah. That's lovely. So when you've got tunnel vision, the universe can only give you that. Mm. When you're out here, it can go, oh, you could have a bit of that and a bit of that mm. and, and create magic in the middle. Yeah. So if you enjoyed that and you would like to experience more of that, if that's kind of unlocked a little something in you, you know, we'd love to enjoy, invite you to come and join us in tapping into your big vision live. It's taking place on the 31st of July. Um, on Zoom, it's going to be from the comfort of your own home with all the wonderful tappers that we've just um, mentioned. And um, all the details are in the link. So, you know, we won't waste time going through all the, all the information is there. If you do have any questions, please do post in the comments and we'll be more than happy to answer your questions. But yeah, this is just an invitation for you to come and tap into your big vision live with us for a whole day. We're going to be clearing, tapping, clearing, tapping, and it's going to be amazing. And you won't be in the same place at the end of it. I will guarantee that. Totally. Be transformed from... There the will be so many aha moments. Even mm -hmm. if you just understand why you do what you do, mm -hmm. that's transformational. Yeah. Okay. Well, lovely. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Tap oh, God. Joining me tapping, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> lovely to chat with you and tap with you and, and with you yeah so thank you everyone for watching and any questions post them in the comments and we'll hopefully see you on the 31st of july Take care, looking everyone. forward to it me too for now i'm obviously shifting stuff still <laughs> bye everyone